today we are going to learn a new questions that is a 1706 of lead code that saying where will the ball fall okay so here as you can see that uh, uh, we have 2d 2d uh, grid 2d matrix of size m cross n okay representing a box and you have n balls total we have n balls uh, uh, and uh, we have grid of m cross n that represents box okay so there the box is open on the top the box is open on the top and bottom side right like you can say that uh, if we are taking like this right so this one is this side is open and this side is open okay but this is close and this is close correct now saying each cell in the box has a diagonal board spanning two corner of the cell that can redirect a ball to the right or the left each cell in the box each cell in the box like we have multiple cells right like this one like this one right each cells okay each cells in the box has a diagonal board okay what I have diagonal board like like this one like this okay and uh, two corner of the cell like this corner and this corner assume of the cell that can redirect a ball to the right or left either it will send you right or left okay now it is saying two points right the first point it is saying a board that redirect the ball to the right span okay due to the what due to the uh, diagonal okay the top left corner to the bottom right corner is repre represented as one okay and board redirect the ball to the left s pan left left s pan the top right corner okay this was the right s pan corner and this is the top right corner to, okay so if top right corner to bottom okay bottom left corner and it is saying uh, previous was saying right span the top left corner to the bottom right corner okay so that was represented one and this will represent as minus one okay so we drop one ball at the top of each column of the box right we will drop the we will drop one ball at the top of the each uh, column of the box each ball can get stuck in the box or fall out of the bottom now it is saying a ball get stuck if it hits v shape pattern between two boards if the board direct that ball into either ball either wall of the box return answer of the size of n where answer is the column that the ball fall out of the bottom after dropping the ball from ith column at the top or minus one if it gets stuck in the box okay it is very easy questions we have box of 2d matrix you can say that and we have n balls in which uh, the box is open from uh, two side top and uh, bottom sides and uh, each cell in the box has a diagonal board uh, like a spanning in which two corner of the cell that can redirect a ball to the right or the left in which we have to take care of two points in which in which we can say the board that redirect the ball to the right span the top left corner to the bottom right corner top left to bottom right okay then we have to represent one otherwise uh, if we are going here left corner means uh, left span means top right corner to left corner then it is minus one so if we drop one ball at if we drop uh, one ball at the top of the each column of the box each ball can get stuck in the box or fall out of the bottom so a ball can get stuck if hits a v-shape pattern between two boards or if the board redirect the ball into either wall either wall of the box right either it will stuck or it will redirect okay so we will return the array of uh, answer of the size n 
where answer of I is the column that the ball fall, falls out of at a, the bottom after dropping the ball from 8th column at the top or we will return minus 1 if the ball gets stuck in the box ok so let's continue so let me, now you can see that uh, the example we have right b0 b1 b2 b3 b4 ok so these are the span already we have given in the yellow color right this is called diag diagonals of each uh, uh, you can say um, box okay so if ball b0 is moving right so it start from the top corner top corner okay and b is going to be down at the column uh, from uh, column 0 to column 1 okay it has moved to all the places right if we drop b1 if drop b2 or b3 it will get a stuck <coughs> in the b, b, v shape right b1 b2 b3 b4 it will be stuck in the corner right you can see that so if the input is given in the grid form so we have to return the output okay answer so it has started from what it has started from uh, top right so left uh, from left corner to right corner means we have to give one then it uh, came to what uh, left corner to uh, sorry right corner to left corner then we have to give minus again it is it will it is going to be uh, minus one and like this so in the explanation explanation you can see that ball b0 is dropped at the column zero and fall out of the box at the column one but rest of the ball right like b1 b2 b3 b3 what happened it stuck it, it, it has been stuck so we have to return minus 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 so four ball was there b1 uh, b, uh, five ball is there so uh, next four balls will return minus one but the first ball return what one because of what because of it it, it, it is it is not in the v shape it has been not been stuck in the v shape but it has come to the top to bottom and the rest has been stuck in the box and that's why it is minus one so in this way you we have to uh, we have to return the answer and uh, yeah let's continue so in this problem you can see you can you, we can uh, make an overview of this question right it is saying that this is in this is an interesting problem right and we can visualize it as a zigzag bowling game where the grid represent bowling at each surface right every column is a different lane and the ball and the ball uh, balls uh, thrown from the first row of the every lane and travel in a zigzag direction based on the ball in the grid so this is the lane right this is the lane one this is the lane two and this is the lane three so if we are uh, throwing from here from a uh, right uh, left corner to right corner okay if this is uh, we are coming from left uh, left to right corner and uh, we are not getting any what v shape right here we do, we do not have it is not starting from here right it's not starting from here this is not the case so it what will happen it will continue right it will continue and it will move to this direction so there is no, no v shape coming in the uh, what uh, in the lane so it will continue it will continue correct now the question is where will each of these wall falls at the end right there should be one of the two conse consequences the ball reaches the last row of the grid and drop out of the out from the sum lane right in this case we have to return a uh, lane number in other words column number right you have to return uh, uh, lane number or column number that's why uh, what happened you can see here the we have grid number three right and if we draw this one right so you can see that we have to return column number right return column number or if where it will not return it will return what uh, it will be stuck then it will return minus one so this is the case okay 
<coughs> now the ball reaches a certain point where it is struck and cannot move ahead means we have to return what minus one like for this case we have started from lane one right we have started from what this lane one then it continue to lane two here and then it continue to our lane three but in the in between lane two and lane three it has been stuck here okay so in this case we will return what minus one so the first question what we have is dfs right the approach we have to solve with this question is dfs so what is the intuition behind it so let's understand using dfs algorithm uh, is an intuitive approach okay to solve this problem by simulating the actual flow of the ball it is followed for every ball thrown for the first row of every column so then if if uh, it means uh, then it follows the direction in which the ball would travel in the depth first such manner this process is repeated until either of the two conditions are satisfied the condition first is the ball reaches a point where it can no longer move ahead in the in this case we will return minus one and uh, condition two the ball reaches the last row in this case we will return what uh, we will see, we will return the column in which the ball will drop now we have the problem narrowed down to find uh, either of these two conditions is satisfies as as this will be the terminating condition for the depth for search and we have to understand what uh, how will we find if a ball can move ahead or is stuck so let's uh, let's look at the following a uh, few example like this we have so as you can see the uh, we have st started with the first problem right so we have a box of four right uh, four cells in which the first cells we have started from lane one so it has been stuck the ball is stuck right maybe ball is stuck at the point where we have dropped another problem that can be it will move one one uh, no, one cell to another cell right and it has been stuck <clears throat> or it can be either the diagonal is different diagonal is different you started from uh, lane two and is stuck in where line two uh, lane one right so in this way it can be stuck right similarly if ball is going to be drop out means what it will start from the lane one continue to lane two and again it will come to lane one and it will drop from lane one right and similarly with if it, it will start from lane two right it will continue to lane one and it will continue back to lane two so these are the possibility right and if it start from here lane two it may not continue to another cells and it will stuck here because of v shape right so the possibility is from the above illustration you can see that you can decode the pattern for either of the cases these these are the cases right or how many cases we have to stuck we have one two three and four four pattern we have but to continue we have what one and two so in these two case ball will drop out or in that four cases right we can uh, we can get stuck in the in, in the where ball will get stuck so the first thing is to note that the ball always moves in the diagonal direction correct if you understand the first thing to note is that the ball always moves in the diagonal direction okay ball moves diagonally in the right direction if the value of the balls if the value if the value of the cell current cell is one and left uh, direction if the value of the current cell is minus one as you can see come here you see right yeah we, we have here also so you can say that let's let, let's look at the case uh, first case where the ball has to move in the right di diagonal right so you can see that here only one diagonal we have right it starts from what left and it continue towards bottom down of the cell right 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 bottom right corner bottom okay so in this case we have to return what 
value of the current cell is what one but now for the ball now the ball to fall to the next row from the current cell to the adjacent cell should provide the way for the ball to go ahead there are two possible scenario we have to carefully look at the value of the uh, adjacent cells in the right direction right so it has been started from what cell 1 and it will continue to what cell 2 and it is in diagonal right so it will continue here now we can go ahead and move fall into the next right so it if the diagonal will start from here right it will if the diagonal will start from here so it will continue to what lane 2 only correct okay so or otherwise what will the scenario another will happen if the diagonal is not starting from here right it's not starting from the left corner it is starting from the left bottom corner right in this case what will happen ball will get stuck if it's starting from what left uh, left corner uh, top left corner then it's okay but if it start from the uh, left bottom corner then it will get stuck so there is only two scenario so the first scenario is saying that the ball can go ahead because the adjacent column does not not block the way here the value of the adjacent cell as the as the current cells right and in the scenario 2 the ball cannot go ahead the ball cannot go ahead because the adjacent column block its way right and its form v shape here the value of the adjacent cell is different from the current cell correct because it, it's different so we have to uh, we have to return similar similar institution is applicable if all if the ball moves on the left diagonal correct so from from this we can we from this we can establish uh, the what we can establish that the ball can move into the next row uh, from the current cell if the current if, if 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 and only if the adjacent column has same value the ball can move into the next row the ball can move to the next row from the current cell if and only if the adjacent column has the same value right now we will see the adjacent cell to be checked it will differ based on the direction in which the ball will fail fall in the in which the ball will fall the adjacent cell to be checked will differ based on the direction in which the ball will fail if the ball position is uh, a cell we can take a, a, a what cell of row and column has to move in the uh, left direction it will move to the left direction right uh, the value of the cell is what one the adjacent cell would be what row column minus one row and column minus one and if the current ball has to move in the right direction the value of cell is minus one and uh, its uh, right cell will be row comma column minus one here see how column minus one the ball falls in the right direction diagonal direction correct here in this case and what is happening what we have the cell value we have row and column row and column is exactly same right is equal to one the adjacent cell to check what row and column plus one we have to check in which column in which cell row row will be the same column plus one right means we are talking about this cell we are talking about this cell okay if if our if the diagonal is starting from what uh, right corner correct from here and coming to left bottom corner okay from here to here from here to here correct in this case what we have to do we have to check this corner correct this this cell and this cell is row will be the same column minus one one less we have to go if this is what if this is the row column and that is equal to what minus one why because if we know that if it will start from what from where it will start from 
top left corner and it is going to the bottom right corner then we have to assume what one or if it is going to uh, top right corner to bottom left corner then we have to take minus one but make sure that we understand the check adjacent how do which adjacent cells we have to check row column minus one or column plus one right so ball falls in the left diagonal right if the left fall if the ball left in if the ball falls in the left di diagonal then we have to check column minus one and if the ball falls in the right right direction right right direction right diagonal direction right in that case we have to check column plus one so conditions adjacent cells must be the same as the current cell now we have algorithm that we will understand we have the depth for search uh, that we have to imp that we have uh, implemented right by using the recursive function okay and that identify the next position of the ball from the current cell so let the current position of the ball will be uh, what cell row comma column and that can be either uh, minus one or one based on the its diagonal positions where the ball will fall there will be two possible values of the cell right any of the grid that will decide move of the ball will where the ball will decide to move <laughs> so the case first is the value of the cell in the grid row comma column is one correct and, and another will be what minus one the ball must move the right direction and in that case uh, we will we, we will have the grid value what one so adjacent row uh, adjacent cell is row and column plus one right row and column plus one in this case A row and column plus one this will be the case in this we have to check and here we have to check row comma column minus one only two cases are there right we have to check that we have seen just now in the previous uh, slide so adjacent cell is row comma column plus one and condition to check is grid of row column must be equal to grid of what row column plus one both should be same both should be same grid grid value of this and grid value of what row plus column plus one row comma column column plus one should be equal if the condition is satisfied means it will return true means we have to move row equal to row plus one and column equal to column plus one very simple okay we just have to increment row and column by one but in the case if the value of the cell is returning minus one and the ball must move into the left direction in that case what we have to do we have to check a row will be remain same but the column will be minus one okay and in that case we will check a row and column value equal to row comma column minus one if the condition will satisfy we will increment the row but we will decrement the column that is very easy algorithm so if any point the condition mentioned ever are not satisfy it would imply that the ball is stuck at its current position and we have to return minus one in such cases right so only we have to take care of this one so only these two points we have to check otherwise in all other conditions the ball is stuck and we have to return minus one so let's define the function find ball drop column row column grid to recursively compute the result for the ball at cell so row column in the grid right so algorithm can be written as if grid of row and column if grid of row and column is what is equal equal to what one correct here is equal equal to one then we will do what we will update the next column column plus one and then if column not equal to grid of zero dot length minus one and column row column equal equal to grid what row and column next okay then we will uh, return find ball path we will take row plus one next column 
either it will be minus or plus that will decide and the grid three things we will return or either we will return minus one in other cases we will return similarly for the row column and this is another case right two cases were there another case we will remain the same in which we will check minus one we will update the next column what column minus one we will not go to the, the next we will come back to the uh, previous column and we'll check same column not should be equal to zero and uh, should not be equal to zero and uh, row and column equal, equal to the grid and the next column we have updated already the next column and then we will check with the same row plus one next column grid and we will find the find ball path right or in both cases other than that we will return minus one so this is very easy uh, algorithm okay so additionally we can find the above implementation note that the common pattern to find the next column in both cases next column will be what uh, current column plus value of the current cell in the grid next column is what current column whatever the current column value we have and the value of the current cell in the grid or base case what will be the base case the recursive depth for search is terminated under the following condition what will the base case this is very very important okay so make sure you will understand this one okay so we hit a v-shape wall there is no way to move ahead this case is taken care of the above algorithm we reach the last ball and the ball drop out in this case we will return the column where the ball will eventually end up row equal equal to grid dot length and we will return we will check what we will return this one correct if row equal equal to grid length then we will return the column now this is the uh, solution we have right so let's go understand we have to we have a, a function find wall here find wall that will take a grid m cross n right and we have to return the answer in the array form so first we will take a result that will take uh, the same size right the grid of zero dot length uh, will take the same size of the array and we will start from zero to uh, grid length and then we will store all the result all the answer into the result of i in which we have to start from zero i i is the column grid column you can say grid row or column okay and then grid three things we will return and whatever the value will come from there the result we have to return and this is the main function as a as a depth first we have to continue we have row zero we have started with from the zero column the, we'll start from the zero only the first and the grid correct so base case is what ball reach at the last row means what row equal equal to grid if we have return then we will return what column if we reached at the if the row is at the end grid dot length right then we have to return the column we will not continue otherwise what we have to do we will calculate the next column in next column how, how we will calculate column value plus grid row column whatever the value we have here that we will take means if the ball is is falling down from a left corner to bottom down of the right corner then it will come one otherwise if it start from the uh, what uh, uh, right corner to the bottom down of the left corner then it will return what minus one so only two cases are there either minus one or plus one that that will update or your next column correct and then we will if the next column is less than zero right then what we have to do we have to take uh, next column through this condition these are the condition next column is should not be less than zero or next column should be greater than length minus one or uh, next column should not be equal to uh, grid row column current value should not be equal to the next uh, column value should not be equal if these are the conditions are there then we will return what minus one okay or otherwise we will calculate what 
find what drop again this is the recursive right so we have to check for the next row and next column okay in this way we will return the value so uh, as you know this is recursive function right so we have to take the time complexity o m into n whatever the value we have for m is row n is the number of column in the grid but the space complexity will remain same o m okay so thank you guys if you any doubt please ping me in the comment box we have another uh, two approaches also there like dynamic programming approach and uh, iterative approach so if you want uh, please uh, comment into the comment box i will make this another video another part of this video and we will read we will put all this okay we will put this thank you so much please like share and subscribe our export funder